the Lord. This is Prophetess Equila, and you are joining me for Time in the Secret Place, where I'm here with you every Tuesday and Thursday on the New Creation Christian Network. I want to say welcome. Thank you for joining me. And we are going to continue this podcast session this is a part two we're talking about developing your confidence in God's desire and ability to prosper you and when we talk about prosper we're talking about giving you good success in everything that you're doing when we're talking about prospering we're talking about prospering you financially. We're talking about um, wealth and increase coming into your life because of your relationship. Hallelujah. Your covenant relationship with God. And because God is faithful to his word. And when you walk in covenant relationship with God. There are different blessings of prosperity that he has promised. And we really went through um, some of those scriptures during session one. And in this session, we're going to continue. Um, but in this session, we're going to focus more on what we can do. Hallelujah to get the blessing the financial provision that we need in our life by obeying um the word of god okay so let's jump right on in here i'm going to give you just a brief definition of prosper and prosperity i shared this in the first session but um just so that we can set our hearts and mind again during this time prosper when we talk about God prospering us, we're talking about him, hallelujah, the favor of God to render success, to render what we are doing successful. Prosperity means that we are advancing, that we are gaining, hallelujah, that we are having successful progress in our ministry, in our businesses, um, in the work that we are called to do. Remember the word of God says that he will bless the work of our hands. So hallelujah. We are just going to be prosperous, successful. Hallelujah. As we continue to walk with God and walk in the ways of God. Now throughout the Bible, God is clear. His plan for his children is abundance um, there are approximately 500 references to faith and 500 references to prayer in the Bible and I have taught on prayer and I have taught on faith um, already in 2019 so I want you to know that there are 2,000 references to finances in the Bible so what we're talking about is still very biblical and it's still very scriptural. And that's why we take the time to go through the scriptures. Hallelujah. So that you know 
hallelujah if it's in the word of god hallelujah you can expect it and believe for it in your own life hallelujah and so just get it in your spirit right now that god wants to prosper you god wants you to prosper hallelujah and so he wants you to know he wants us to know how to achieve wealth properly and how to handle it wisely because you know when christians prosper when the true believers when the disciples of christ have prosperity then the whole world stands to prosper hallelujah because we understand that he gives us hallelujah prosperity with a purpose hallelujah that is to hallelujah further the kingdom of god that we are going to take on kingdom initiatives hallelujah what am i talking about i'm talking about hallelujah feeding the sick i'm talking about making sure that the gospel is preached throughout the whole world hallelujah we're talking about hallelujah you know just being a blessing we are blessed to be a blessing amen so when you need resources you need finances hallelujah to do the work of the ministry whether you are called to kingdom business or whether you are called to preaching and teaching the gospel it all takes finances so you need hallelujah to understand that god wants to prosper you and you need to get the blessing the blessings the finances we need need to get them flowing in our lives so hallelujah that's what we are going to continue hallelujah to meditate on hallelujah in this session so i want you to write down psalms 112 i gave it this psalms to you in the first session and we went through verses one through three and in this session we're going to go through it a little bit in a deeper detail we're going to go through verses one through nine and i'm going to give it to you in the good news translation all right and so hallelujah here we go praise the lord happy is the person who honors the lord who takes pleasure in obeying his command the good man's children will be powerful in the land and his descendants will be blessed his family will be wealthy and rich and he will be prosperous forever light shines in the darkness for good people for those who are merciful kind and just happy is the person who is generous with his loans who runs his business honestly a good person will never fail he will always be remembered he is not afraid of receiving bad news his faith is strong and he trusts in the lord he is not worried or afraid hallelujah praise god hallelujah this is a good word hallelujah praise the name of jesus all right i'm going to keep going i'm in verse eight i had to just stop and meditate that hit my spirit okay verse eight he is not worried or afraid he is certain to see his enemies defeated he gives generously to the needy and his kindness never fails he will be powerful and respected hallelujah there is so much in that passage of scripture for us hallelujah you are a righteous person you are in right standing with the lord hallelujah you are hallelujah a person hallelujah as christians this is this is our character this is who we should ascribe hallelujah to be we should be people i'm pulling from the that this passage i'm pulling these things these traits hallelujah that each and every one of us as believers hallelujah should be aspiring to be we need to honor the lord we need to be people who honor the lord we need to take pleasure in obeying the word of god we need to be merciful 
Hallelujah. God has given us mercy and we need to be merciful to others. We need to be kind. We need to be just. Hallelujah. We need to be generous. Hallelujah. We need to be honest in all of our business dealings. And we need to be people who have strong faith and who trust in the Lord. You know, this passage says that as we is this is our character hallelujah that we are going to hallelujah be powerful in the earth that we are going to be respected hallelujah that we are going to be wealthy and rich and that we will pro- be prosperous forever hallelujah so god desires his children to prosper hallelujah when we walk in his word when we obey his word hallelujah he's promised hallelujah hallelujah he's promised that we will be wealthy we will be prosperous people in the earth okay so just remember that the blessing the uh, empowerment to prosper i gave you that one of the definitions of blessed is to be empowered to prosper so when the blessing of god hallelujah is on our lives we are empowered to prosper hallelujah and obedience hallelujah will also bring the blessing will also get the blessing working in your life as you come in line as you bring your life in line hallelujah with the word of god hallelujah as you obey the word of the lord hallelujah the blessing will begin to activate in your life even more and more hallelujah praise god hallelujah let's look at job 36 11 i'm going to give this to you from the niv and then i'm going to give it to you from the gnt so here we go if they obey and serve him they will spend the rest of their days in prosperity and their years in contentment hallelujah now see that's a good word i just said that obedience is going to bring hallelujah the blessing all right here it is that same scripture job 3 11 in the good news translation it says if they obey god and serve him they live out their lives in peace and prosperity okay so we've got to be bring our lives into obedience we have to obey the word of the lord and as we are obedient and we serve god hallelujah the promise is that we will live our lives hallelujah in peace and prosperity that we will have years we will spend our years in contentment hallelujah receive the word of the lord right now hallelujah because some of you you're worried and you're fretting hallelujah life has been hard life has been challenging hallelujah but this word will come to build your faith this word will come to bring hope and this word will come hallelujah to just build you up in the area of faith build you up spiritually okay so say this after me repeat after me say because i am obedient to god i expect to spend the rest of my days in peace and prosperity amen praise god because when we live our lives hallelujah when we live godly lives and we begin to hallelujah manifest these godly attributes that we just went over in psalms 112 hallelujah the bible promised us that we not we and our families hallelujah god is a god of covenant and he he is speaking to us if we get the get in line hallelujah our whole families will be blessed our families will be wealthy rich and prosperous so 
Hallelujah. If you've been listening to me for any amount of time, if you've been, you know, coming into the secret place time with me, hallelujah. This is our second year doing this broadcast. Uh, we've been doing this broadcast for two years, I should say. Hallelujah. And I always remind the people of God that, you know, no matter what the society is doing, no matter what is politically correct, God still expects his people to live holy. God is still looking at our lifestyle. Our lifestyles matter. Hallelujah. And I'm simply saying that we have to walk before the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our lives have to line up with the word of God as we walk before the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise God. Now let's look at 2 Corinthians 9. Again, we're going to look at getting the blessing operating in our lives. And we can do it through our generous, being generous and being givers. Hallelujah. So let's look at 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 10. This is the NIV. It says, remember this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Verse 7, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Verse 8, and God is able to bless you abundantly. So that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Number t verse 10. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. Praise God. There is so much in that verse. Hallelujah. So much instruction. So much um, promise. You know, your giving affects how you receive. This is how, hallelujah, you can get the blessing operated, operating in your life. If you sow, you have to sow. Hallelujah, you have to give. God expects us to be givers. He expects us to give towards the works of the ministry. He expects us to give to help others, to help the poor, to help the needy, to help the widow, to help the sick. Hallelujah. He expects us as his children. Hallelujah. To have his character. Hallelujah. And to serve him. We serve him in many ways. And in one of the ways you serve the Lord is in giving. Hallelujah. To the works of the ministry. Hallelujah. Remember. He wants you to be a cheerful giver, to do it cheerfully and willingly. God doesn't force you to give. You should never give because you feel forced to give. But when the Holy Spirit prompts you, hallelujah, to give in a certain area, to give into a certain ministry, to give into a certain humanitarian work, to give. He might tell you, hallelujah, yes, give, give to, um, to to the red cross you know maybe there's been a world disaster he may he may prompt you hallelujah to give for relief efforts hallelujah give how the holy spirit w is leading you to give hallelujah but understand that whether you give little or a lot it's up to you but God has promised you that you're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. The measure you give out is the measure it's going to be given back to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. And always remember the scripture says, verse 8, 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8 said, God is able to bless you abundantly. All right. God is willing. He's going to make sure that we have all that we need and that we are able to abound in every good work. That's why God wants us to, again, to be prosperous, to be financially blessed so that we can help other people. Hallelujah. It's not to, just to cause the wealth isn't just to consume it 
on all of our personal desires and needs hallelujah but it's also so that you can help the work with the work of the ministry amen feed the hungry hallelujah help the homeless help the less fortunate the poor will you will always have with you you have to be able and willing hallelujah to help praise god let's look at mark 4 hallelujah 26 through 27 this is from the niv this is the parable of the growing seed it says he also said this is what the kingdom of god is like a man scatters seed on the ground night and day whether he sleeps or gets up the seed sprouts and grows though he does not know it okay so when you sow the we read in second corinthians 9 hallelujah that whatever when you sow you're going to reap okay so if you sow when you sow seed you're going to reap and so this scripture is saying that when you when you sow your seed hallelujah that seed is going to sprout up and grow hallelujah so you can expect a harvest hallelujah you can expect financial harvest hallelujah if you are a sower let's look at um genesis 8 22 this is coming from the amplified bible it says while the earth remains seed time and harvest cold and heat winter and summer and day and night shall not cease so while the earth remains there will always be seed time and harvest there will always be a time to sow and when you sow hallelujah there will always be harvest hallelujah so say this after me according to the law of seed time and harvest i have sown and i will receive a harvest in the name of jesus hallelujah amen hallelujah let's look at genesis um let's look at verses 1 and 11 it says this is coming from the niv it says then god said let the land produce vegetation seed bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it according to their various kinds and it was so okay so i'm giving you this scripture to show you that the word of god says hallelujah that there are various kinds hallelujah of seed and so when we sow finances we are sowing financial seed and so that financial seed is going to produce a financial harvest okay so say this after me i have sown financial seed and i am expecting them to produce a financial harvest in my life in the name of jesus hallelujah praise god hallelujah now let's look at luke 638 again we're talking about hallelujah getting hallelujah god's ability hallelujah to prosper us financially and how we can play a role in in, in getting that operating in our lives because of our seeds because of our giving because of our sowing hallelujah let's look at luke 6 38 i'm going to give it to you from the niv and it says give and it will be given to you a good measure pressed down shaken together running over will be poured into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured to you okay the good news translation of the same scripture says give to others and god will give to you indeed you will receive a full measure a generous helping poured into your hands all that you can hold the measure you use for others is the one that god will use for you so the word of god is clear when we give to others god will give to us okay 
Hallelujah. So that's a promise in the word of God that you can hold on to. If you have been giving, if you have given in the past and you're waiting and you have not received and you are, you can ask God, you can begin to declare, hallelujah, God, your word says that as I give to others, Lord, that you will give to me. Hallelujah, Lord. And I'm expecting you to give to me full measure a generous helping i'm expecting you god to pour it out into my hands hallelujah so much that it overflows that i can't hold it in my hands because that's the word of god that's what the word of god says and this is how we stand on the promises this is how we put a demand on the promises of god this is how we press in and receive by faith hallelujah we have to take hold we have to lay hold of the promises of god amen hallelujah i want to share a couple more scriptures we just have a couple more minutes so this is proverbs 19 hallelujah 17 and we're talking i was talking about giving and when the word of god says that when we give to the poor we're lending to the lord and that's proverbs 19 17 it says whoever is kind to the poor lends to the lord and he will reward them for what they have done it says he will reward you the good news translation says when you give to the poor it is like lending to the lord and the lord will pay you back okay so you can expect god hallelujah to pay you back hallelujah god doesn't lie his word doesn't fail if god said he will pay us back we he will pay us back hallelujah we can also believe god for the wealth transfer this is um proverbs 13 22 go ahead and write it down it says a good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just so we just have to begin to call that money in during our prayer hallelujah let's say this say this say lord i thank you hallelujah that i am the righteousness of god in christ jesus hallelujah and you are transferring the wealth of the sinner into my hands hallelujah praise god hallelujah well that's a good word hallelujah hallelujah praise god and as we wind up my time is almost over hallelujah i just declare and decree over you hallelujah that you are children of god the most high god and that god is going to supply your needs according to his riches and glory and i just declare over you this morning that god hallelujah is going to prosper you in every area of your life hallelujah that there shall be nothing missing and nothing broken and nothing lacking in your life hallelujah and give it to you from the king james and then i'm going to give it to you from the contemporary english version and it says for i know the thoughts that i think toward you saith the lord the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end and that same scripture in the contemporary english version says i will bless you with a future filled with hope a future of success not of suffering okay so you need to begin to just meditate on that scripture right there you need to begin to meditate on that word because many 